recommend to anyone, if you want to build, you build in Pooler because uh, they, know, they give you a hand and they give you a big hand and they just make it happen. So thank you very much. So today is just a little bit of history. One more milestone in the relationship between Pooler and uh, St. Joseph's Candler. And we first came to Pooler in 1992. And uh, Dr. Ray Gaskin uh, up was a primary care physician out here. He had a little white house off of uh, US 80. It had this great little charming uh, white porch. And I would go visit him uh, periodically. So just think about that image for a second in 1992. And now, here we are with this topping off ceremony on phase one of a $60 million micro hospital. And we intend to grow, I'll say to the members of the city council and Mayor Lamb, we will grow as fast as you need us to grow. And our board of trustees has supported that. In a few minutes, what we're going to do is raise the final beam of uh, this multi-phase project and we expect to open this building and start serving patients in February of 2019. So if you just blink right now, when you open your eyes, you're going to be out here at a dedication ceremony and then the next day, probably back of a napkin, although uh, they probably don't want me to say this, maybe February 19th or so, we'll start serving patients. Uh, and uh, Walter, I'll just have to tell you, your team has done an amazing job. Let me, um, let me share with you a few metrics about this job. You know, you've all built a house, right, individually, and you talk about how many square feet you're building and kind of the bonus room you're putting in and, and all of that. And they gave me some metrics that I just wanted to share with you. This 83,000 square foot building has 232 pilings in it. And if you took those pilings out and put them end to end like a like a Lincoln Log set, for those of you who are old enough to even know what a Lincoln Log set is, but if you had put them together, that would stretch about a mile and a half. There are 450 tons of steel, which is half the amount of steel that's used in an ocean liner. Uh, there are 1,250 cubic yards of concrete and that's enough to fill one-sixth of the harbor in Sydney, Australia, and 15,000 kegs of beer. <laughs> Alan Kennedy told me that last metric. <laughs> there are 14,700 feet of aluminum, and that's enough to cover one-fourth of a football field or four IMAX screens. And what you're looking at right now is seven acres of land, and that's what's been cleared and logged and stripped. And that's equal to about five and a half football fields. And there are also, this last metric, a thousand feet of sanitary sewer pipe installed. And that goes 20 feet deep, which is as tall as the Empire State Building. So I thought I would mention that because of these guys that are behind me. Because when we walk in here, we're just going to walk into that lobby. But all the amazing infrastructure that's behind the curtain is what makes this building possible. But I'll tell you the most amazing fact. In five and a half months, we've not have had one job-related injury. So uh, today's ceremony, as I said, is the topping off ceremony. Uh, that came to the United States. It was first introduced to the United States from Scandinavia. A lot of the Scandinavian construction workers that were working in New York City brought it over here. And that's why we're here. We'll be raising the beam and then the American flag. Uh, I hope you've had a chance to sign that beam. We had the ceremony 
last Thursday and Friday, and this site was packed with people from this community who will um, be on that beam uh, forever. So let me thank a, a few other people who have made this possible.